Hello everyone, my name's Matt Johnson and welcome to a little bit of Monday Morning Madness in looking at the funny side of UK politics. We spoke on yesterday's show about the government's plan to give a weight loss drug to some members of the public, a policy that is somewhat controversial. Well, as controversial as any medical trial that is aimed at the poorest in society can be. Some research that you are backing is uh, a trial looking at how weight loss drugs could potentially get obese people back to work. Is medicating the population more really the way to do it, do you think? These jabs can be a game changer on that. They're not the only solution, and I don't want to create a dependency culture. I also, by the way, should say, because there's been a lot of reactions to some of the things I've said this week, I'm also not interested in some dystopian future. No, not when you can have a dystopian now. That was Wes Streeting talking to Laura Koonsberg on her Sunday show. Now, I did cover this yesterday about the fact that reducing weight can help with things like cardiovascular disease and diabetes. And we do have a bit of an obese problem in the UK, but it is a bit concerning that a drug that will help reduce food cravings seems to have the health secretary salivating. And I'm really excited about the trial that we'll be doing, which is game changing. This could be game changing. All right, crazy idea, I know, but how about taxing all the processed foods and using that tax to reduce the cost of healthy food? Radical, I know. And then getting doctors and dietitians to talk about the importance of intermittent fasting as well. Wes also went on to say that he didn't want to create a dependency culture, in which case giving drugs to the unemployed might not be the best answer. But this all comes down to money. The NHS spends about 9% of its budget treating diabetes. As Professor Simon Catewell, an expert in public health at Liverpool, has called it, unethical. And he has said that they target people for economic reasons rather than prioritising the person's own interests and health. It's also for the health of the nation, better for the health of the nation's finances. Money over morals. Keir Starmer is likely to have a bit of an early cabinet shuffle of one, as Louise Haig, the transport secretary, looks to be on her way out after calling PO a cowboy operation for the way that they treated their staff and nearly scuppering a possible £1 billion investment. Great time to have a moral conscience, Louise. Remember, money over morals. And besides, the X is giving us grief as we still owe maintenance. We paid some £24 billion to the EU since leaving. How much was that black hole again? With a further £6.4 billion to pay. And if that wasn't bad enough, at the end of the week, Keir Starmer, along with King Charles, would be heading the British delegation going to the Commonwealth heads of government meetings in Samoa, where some of the governments want to talk reparations for the UK's past involvement in the slave trade. A number 10 source said reparations are off the table, as is an apology. We're not even going to apologise? That seems a bit mean. An apology costs nothing. You know, money over... Ah, oh, right, sorry. Morals over money. <laughs> That's it for today. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you all Wednesday. Take care.